to me, is very natural and simple. What you're doing is, is, is uh, create or, or actually put into form, into visual form, your imagination about movements and actions. Kind of great. For some reason, I had heard that uh, that a, a fellow named Disney was hiring young artists my age. I was working at that time in a lumber mill, in a lumber yard, and they read in the paper that um, some guy by the name of Disney was hiring young artists. Now, they knew I was an artist because I told them I was an artist. So they said, there's a guy up called Disney, old Hyperion, hiring guys like you, if you're one of them. So I said, I'll check them out. So the next morning I, I went over to Hyperion, and sure enough, I, I ran into this guy. He was there wandering around. Are you, are you the one looking for artists here? At the, he said, yeah, I happen to be. Are you an artist? Yes, I said, I'm an artist. So he asked me about my background, which wasn't much. That's what I told him. I said, no, I haven't gone to Chenard or any, uh, any fancy art school. I don't have to. I can draw. Oh, okay. He took me at my word, and he said, do you have any samples? You mean samples of drawings? Well, I don't have them with me, but I'll have them tomorrow morning if you want. Well, I went home and I made a whole bunch of samples. Came back and showed them to him. He said, well, he said, you obviously can draw, but you have you haven't had much training, have you? Haven't, what school have you studied at? I said, I haven't studied any school. I just can draw. It ended up by being hired at over at Walt Disney. It was just kind of a, what better place to start? I said, this is it. The doors are beginning to open. I'm in the motion picture industry. You know, I know you've done the Charlie Brown for 40 years now, but uh, the, uh, of all the characters, the hundreds of characters, which were the, uh, the favorite ones that you did, that you animated? Was it Bugs Bunny or Daffy Duck or? Uh, well, those were those the, are most fun because they were the most cartoony. But, but it doesn't matter. I think that um, what's interesting is what we do. And it doesn't matter whether I was at UPA or at Disney or or Warner Brothers or, or wherever. It's still the same, uh, you know, the same technique and the same uh, the same medium. Well, I'll tell you, in a strange fashion, at Disney, you were so proper and so classic. At Warner Brothers, he was like a cartoon studio, very rough and ready, and. Uh, and, and, and no polish. Just the animation was crude, but very honest, you know, very... I really liked it. I, th I thought it was a great, uh, to me it was a step up. UPA was a very sophisticated, stylized animation studio. They were very conscious at UPA about this being an art form and not just animation, like we over at Warner's and, and the digital used to consider just, you know, no, a UPA was considered an art form and, and fostered like that. Do you ever get involved in the idea of trying to um, po politicize what you're doing? Uh, I know uh, there was problems well, on the original Charlie Brown, people saying you can't have a religious program you know, on the Charlie Brown Christmas. Yeah. Well, it wasn't. It was just telling the Christmas story. That's right. Well, we've always uh, shied away, of course, from things like that. But... In passing, if it's part of the part of the business and part of the story, you have to use it. Mm. And you didn't do any of the uh, those um, during the war. They had all those propaganda films. You didn't, oh yes. Did you work on any of those? Oh, sure, yeah. But they, again, they were they were just uh, educational about our business, about about our uh, this country. I remember when the war started in 1940, whatever it was. Suddenly we became very important because we started illustrating training films. We could do it in a way that they couldn't do it by photographic guys doing it. We used, we used to, what we do is 
instinctively caricature. See, we're not a camera, and it's very difficult to say if I want to make drawings of you, to make drawings of you like a camera would. I'll start making drawings of you by the by your salient point, for example, your nose or your eyes, whatever, whatever it may, makes it easier to draw you and be you. But that's that's the that's the job of of the animator, to um, translate what you are into a drawing. Mm -hmm. It's what makes it fun. Tell me uh, about your awards. How many awards do you have? W awards? Oh my God! So he's uh, one of those people who's just won so many awards he doesn't know what they are anymore. One somebody once started counting. I don't know. He's won, I think, eight Emmy Awards. He's had Oscar nominations. He's had just, you name it, uh, Cartoon Society Awards, CA Magazine. He's won George Peabody Awards, Leo's Art Directors Guild. And it was 40, 50, or 60. They kept on going. We have a list of them, maybe 20 pages long, of all the awards that he's won personally. The value of the Hollywood studio is that it's got a, a great track record, and um, it, we do have a, a very good reputation as a film production company, and particularly in adapting things that other people may be creative, other stories, cartoon strips, whatever. When you're taking things like cartoon strips, or things that already exist, and adapting them to a film or television, it's, uh, they all have unique problems that you have to solve because what you don't want to do is change the nature, the uh, basic nature of a film or a, a cartoon strip. You have to kind of use that style to make a film and it's something that uh, we've been good at. We've done it with uh, well, Bob Barr the Elephant, Kathy, uh, Fred Bassett, of course uh, Peanuts, Charlie Brown, and to a certain extent Patrolman Pete is in that same league because as a, um, a book or as books, published things, they existed. And uh, they just haven't done any film with it yet, and we're going to take it to that, move it into a different uh, level, a whole concept, and have a much more, um, you know, a broader base, and a broader, um, uh, I can't think of the word, but it was just going to be a, a bigger project than it is right now.